Hello and welcome to Stockwatch, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for Go Market Securities. As always, please, a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature, none of which relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of which relied upon as any form of advice at all. It is just general in nature only. I've deliberately left BHP's results for a couple of days because it was really, really noisy. And that's the term, lots of noise. Very quickly going through the headline numbers, which I think probably actually matter more than what I'm going to discuss anyway, but let's look through them. FY24 half year numbers were basically in line with consensus. EBITDA came in at 13.9 billion US dollars, net profit coming at 6.6 billion dollars. If you look at the dividend at 62 cents, also in line, net debt at 12.6 billion. Also in line, estimates for around guidance of CapEx in line at about 27 billion. Overall, everything was pretty much bang on what the market expected for the underlying numbers. However, and it is a big however, the noise around Nickel West, around the future of it, around Samarco and the overall sort of provisions that's been there, blurred the lines of what was going on. And that was a no known. We didn't just get that on Tuesday, we got that a week ago with regards to what was gonna happen. They are still and haven't finalized the final sign off of what they're gonna do with Nick West. You know, the possibility of actually wiping down $5.4 billion of what's supposed to be their fourth pillar division is an interesting one. The fact that the market does not differentiate between nickel prices of quality is also BHP's problem. Where it goes from here is be honest you, no idea. Because again, the company is flagged very clearly the provisioning write down has happened, the $3.2 billion of the current property, but still further to go. I think the overall outcome with Nickel is probably around care and maintenance in the interim because BHP are known very strongly of their internal rates of return and Nickel isn't giving that. And let's not beat around the bush. That is a fact and therefore BHP will probably move it on. Janssen also got an update. Stage two is underway, but again, this project has been going now for over a decade and they just cannot get it going. We know that potash will be something that's required into the future. Fertilizing is going to be a core part of global food production, but it's just not delivering, I think, the kind of levels they've been there. And this is BHP's problem, is that when you're a tier one miner looking for tier one assets, they're hard to find. And when you do find them, you've still got issues around them because they are open to cyclical parts of the market. So although the number was reasonable on the underlying, the noise is blurted out and explains why BHP for the year is down 12.5% because the other part of this whole story is iron ore. And iron ore, although it's still remaining above three figures, $127 as we speak per tonne, it's about the whole concept of China and the China story is slowing. So overall, good stereotypical BHP result. It's just having to deal with internal issues and noise that comes with that.